Hello everyone, this is Synth Collector with another action figure review, and here I have the Marvel Legends Peter B. Parker figure uh, from the Into the Spider-Verse movie. So here you get that Into the Spider-Verse logo there, you get that Peter B. Parker there, uh, and then you get the Marvel Legends logo on the top like usual. And on the side you get that art of Peter B. Parker with that spray paint spider logo there. Same deal on the other side here. And on top you get that spider, a spray painted spider logo on furnished on top. And then here's the back for you. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And you get that same art there. And then here's all the figures that come in the wave. So we done Spider-Man Miles Morales. We got Spider-Gwen and now we're doing a Peter B. Parker. And then uh, we need Prowler, Hand Ninja, and then Frogman. And then, uh, then you get Stilt Man. And then uh, here's the ECB. Besides that, let's crack them open. And here's Peter B. Parker out of the package out of the packaging here. So first we'll go over the accessories. So you get Stilt Man's head here, which we'll go over once we build them. Um, and then he comes with two Spider-Man gloved hands that are fisted. And then you get two twipping hands that are spider gloved. And then he's got two civilian hands, one for holding the cup, and then one that's like just flat-handed, relaxed hand. Um, and then you get an extra head where he's he has the mask over his head here. Uh, you get the blue, I think, I think it's blue, blue eyes. They look like blue eyes if my camera will focus. There you go, a little bit of blue eye. And then I like how the mask looks here. It looks really accurate from the movie, so that's good. And then you get the sculpted in web um, cobwebbing there. And it looks like it's an actual mask, like all wrinkles, wrinkled up and stuff. And he has that smirk like he's ready to fight people. So, yeah, good head sculpt. And you get this cup for him to hold, his, uh, hold in his hand here, just like this. So, yeah, that's a cool accessory there. And it has the blue... And yellow stripes there it's a little crooked i don't know if you're able to move that or not but you can't and then you can you got the straw here which you is pretty flimsy so i wouldn't mess with that too much but yeah cool accessory there and besides that let's go over the uh, actual figure here so then now you got the uh unmasked peter parker where he's like a little bit smiling uh he looks like he has to shave a little bit there so that's good i like the hair it's really accurate you get the blue eyes there. You get the spider suit underneath the jacket here. Uh, and then you get the jacket sleeves here, civilian hands like we went over. And you get that uh, like camo green jacket here and you get the bronze buttons here and the pouches, uh, pockets and stuff like that. And then the cobwebbing is sculpted in in this figure. You get the black spider logo. I like the blue here. And you got him wearing sweatpants or joggers um, that end to his shin here. And he's got wearing two different shoes. So he's wearing like tennis shoes or uh, Converse here. You get the little laces there. I wish they painted the laces white. And you get the boots on this side. So yeah. And then nothing much else in the back here. Uh, so let's go over his articulation. So his head can hinge down pretty far up pretty far too. You can look left and right, a uh, little head pivoting. His shoulders can move out that far, so a little past 90 degrees. You can rotate his shoulder, 360 ro rotation there. You got bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, but for some reason, this joint doesn't want to go. And then his wrist can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. Um, I can't tell if this is a two ball joints. It looks like there's a ball joint there and a ball joint there, so we'll test it. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like a ball joint. So you can get him to go side to side there. So with all those going, you get him to go forward that much. Backwards, not a whole lot because the jacket gets in the way there. Uh, he can do 360 rotation around the top there. I don't know about the bottom, but it looks like it rotates there. Uh, his legs could kick out pretty far. And then you could kick forward that far backwards a little bit he has a thigh cut it's pretty loose there actually he has double jointed knees same thing this joint doesn't want to go yeah for some reason these like some of the joints don't want to go for this figure 
Um, then he has a shin cut at the bottom of the pants here. His ankle scans down that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot there. And then here he is, like, all suited up to be Spider-Man. Um, so I like this figure. I hope they come out with, like, a fully suited into the Spider-Verse figure. I've seen someone that had, like, a fully masked uh, head on him from, like, one of those, like, little, uh, like, cheaper toys. Um, but the only problem is the neck would show. And I think, I don't know if that's, like, supposed to be a joint or something, but it looks like it's loose at the bottom of the neck there. So that worries me a little bit because it's long and a little bit skinny, so it kind of wears me down there. Um, but yeah, hopefully they come out with like a fully suited Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse figure. I'm pretty sure they might with the second one coming out soon. Um, but yeah, I just have some problems with it, like the joints are moving. Um, I think it would be pretty cool if they sculpted in the webs. I mean, not sculpted in. Uh, if they painted the webs on this figure, it would probably would have been a lot more cooler. Um, but Besides that, I don't really have any problems with that. I like the figure. Uh, and it has pretty decent articulation, especially with it having like that jacket over him. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. <laughs>